Do you know who I am? Ronnie Pickering. Who? Ronnie, Ronnie Pickering. Pickering. Ronnie fucking Pickering. Who's Ronnie Pickering? I'm oh, Ronnie Pickering. Ronnie Pickering. Ronnie Pickering. Ronnie Pickering. Ronnie Pickering. Ronnie Pickering. Who's Ronnie Pickering? Is that Ronnie Pickering? Ronnie Pickering. <laughs> Back in 2015, a road rage incident went viral between a man on a moped and Ronnie Pickering. The video spread quickly, gaining tens of millions of views, and it wasn't long before people were quoting, do you know who I am? And I'm Ronnie Pickering. Memes were made, merch was sold, a plaque was put up, and some pretty creative mashups were uploaded too. Ronnie Pickering! Who the fuck's that? I don't know who you are. Ronnie Pickering! Can you say E.T.? Ronnie Pickering! Even the BBC uploaded a compilation video. But I wanted to find out what happened after the viral video and what he's up to now. So I'd done my research and I even got in contact with the man himself. So it was back in September of 2015 when the original video was uploaded to YouTube and it was only a month later before Ronnie saw a good opportunity to auction off the Citroen Sara Picasso on eBay with all of the money raised going to charity. It seemed like there was a lot of fake bids coming through, one of 10 million pounds <laughs> that ended up coming from a child on his mum's iPad. But from what I can find, it seems like the bidding stopped 67,000 pounds. So a nice contribution. Two years later, Ronnie appeared in headlines again after he was seen at Boxing Way In in Hull. He was seen asking Eddie Hearn for some VIP tickets and he even offered to fight the boxer, Tommy Coyle's dad. I should say here, it is hard to tell if these two are joking or if they actually want to fight each other. I did find some tweets from Tommy Coyle from back in 2015 where he talks about a potential fight between the two of them. I also found this video. It looks like Tommy and Ronnie bumped into each other in public and then recreated the original video. Tommy Coyle? Tommy Coyle? Oh! Tommy Coyle? Oh! Tommy fucking Coyle! Also in 2017, he appeared in court after allegedly punching a drug dealer outside a neighbor's home, he was made to pay 100 pounds to the victim. A year after that, Ronnie was on the receiving end of a punch outside the Warren Ferry pub in Hull. Ronnie claims he done nothing to provoke the man. The man fled the scene and Ronnie returned back into the pub to finish his pint. The man that punched Ronnie did post a video saying that he felt bad about what happened. He doesn't usually get into fights. It was just a casual thing and that he's willing to apologize. Ronnie's most recent public sighting came in 2020 when he was photographed outside a pub sipping a pint amongst the wreck of a car crash. It was the Salt House pub in Hull where an elderly woman had mounted the curb and crashed through the outdoor seating. Luckily no one was hurt, so Ronnie seized what was a great photo opportunity. So, what is Ronnie up to now? I wanted to know what he's doing these days and how he feels about the viral video now, eight years later. It wasn't actually that hard to find Ronnie. He has a public Facebook page with 19,000 followers. He doesn't post much, but he does post some memes on there and he doesn't shy away from joining in with the banner. So I first messaged Ronnie two years ago, about the same time that I got in contact with the one pound fish man. You should watch that video, that's a good one. And I asked Ronnie if he'd be free for an interview to talk about the video. He replied with a Facebook thumbs up. However, after asking Ronnie when he'd be free for an interview, it became clear that he wasn't very interested. One of the reasons being that he was actually writing a book about his very violent past. I respected his decision and I left him to it. But it's been two years since then and I thought I'd reach out again. Maybe he's finished his book, maybe he wants to talk about it. I was wrong. Pretty quickly, Ronnie made it clear that an interview wasn't for him and he suggested that I talk to the Muppet that filmed the original video. To be honest, I'm not really interested in the guy that filmed the original video, but Ronnie wanted to let me know his opinion of the guy, Steve Mids. Ronnie's clearly not a fan of the guy and clearly not a fan of having interviews. So I left it at that. I thought that would be the end of our conversation, but Ronnie wasn't done giving me his opinion on this Steve guy. At this point, I was getting the sense that Ronnie had warmed to me a little bit and it seemed like he was in a talkative mood and I was genuinely interested in this book that he's writing, so I asked about it. Turns out that he's still writing it. The book is about his young days as a boy, his brutal childhood, boar stalls and strange way prison and lots and lots more. I let Ronnie know that I was excited for it and that I would help him get the word out there once the book's done. And that made Ronnie a little bit skeptical of me, maybe that I was trying to make a bit of money off of him. So I let him know that I don't actually make any money off YouTube, but that would be great if it happened one day. And that led to Ronnie giving me some actual pretty good advice. He said, think out of the box, do it different to other people. I should do that. 
good advice. So I told Ronnie, that's why I asked you for an interview. No one's done it before. I'm thinking outside the box, I'm being different. But he said he's been offered thousands to do interviews before and he's turned them all down, which I thought was insane. I can't imagine being offered thousands to sit and have a chat and turning that down. Like, surely it's worth it. But Ronnie's final response was, it might be to you, lad, but I ain't you. That's right, Ronnie. You're not. You're Ronnie Pickering. Ronnie Pickering! Who the fuck's that? Yeah, me! So, what happened to Ronnie Pickering? Eight years later, he still thinks the Muppet who did the vid is a fucking idiot, and he's writing a book. So, stay tuned to that. Subscribe. We'll do a little book review here when it comes out. Subs subscribe for that. That'll be good. Surely.